everybody, it's your boy Aaron Spivey Sorrells. I'm about to show you how I do frequency separation on my clients. I'm not gonna take that long, I'm not gonna talk that long, so we're gonna get right into it. First, you see here, this is my, oops, this is my beautiful daughter right here, Jewel. And I am about to do some coloring real quick with the opening of Camera Raw, as you guys seen plenty of times before. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lower this down just a little bit. I always do that to uh, 4950 of the contrast, just a little bit. Uh, I leave the highlights alone, especially when I'm shooting on a white background. Uh, I might bring the shadows down just a little bit, just to give some, give it a little bit of a cinematic look. Raise the whites to 10, raise the blacks down to 10. And I usually add more color to this after I uh, uh, work on the frequency separation, I do a little dodge and burn here and there. Uh, so don't worry about all the coloring right now. I don't add that much color at this spot right here. So I add a little texture here. My clarity is always at 10. Uh, that's just for the, that's in the middle of the road for me. And I add a little bit of vibrance here. I just do two. And saturation is two. I really don't, touch my curves just yet because I want to see how the colors come out when I'm finished doing the editing. Okay, now we're going to open it up and put it in Photoshop. Now, the first thing that I do is I look over the picture and I'll always duplicate it. Uh, control J, Control J, duplicate it, and then I zoom in on the picture. Now, this is my beautiful girl. She's a teenager, so she's going to have a little blemishes on her face, uh, just a little pimples here, growing pains, but she still is beautiful. I tell her that all the time. This is my my other three girls of my black girl magic. And oh, before I go on, make sure you guys invest in a tablet. I got a, y, a Wacom, I don't know how to pronounce a Wacom tablet, and it helps editing go a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. But so the, the thing that I do first, I always go to the healing brush, the spot healing brush, and I click on it and I clean up the little blemishes. Now, some people wait after uh, they're finished with the frequency separation to clean up the blemishes, but for me, I do it uh, the first thing I do when I open up the pictures. I'm gonna enlarge my brush a little bit and go around and clean up the little blemishes on her face. So I go here, take, take that away, take this away. I'm gonna speed this up for you guys so we can hurry up and get through this. Right. Okay, I think we did a great job on that. So what I do next, I blend these two together as we say merge down and then I duplicate it three times. Then I go to the middle one. So I click on the middle layer right here and I hide the top layer. So the first thing you wanna do is go to filter, go to blur, Go to Gaussian Blur. Now, when you come here, you really do not want to overdo the blur. You just want to show uh, it covering the skin, and you barely see the skin that's underneath the blur. You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to do it just like this. You don't want to not be able to see the eyes, not being able to see at least the, uh, the outline of the nose, the outline of the eyes. The outline of the cheekbones, so cheekbones, and that's a little bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is, just for for the video, I'm going to just overdo it just a little bit so you guys can see it. All right, just a little bit. Nine, ten. I think that that's a little bit too high. I think that right there is perfect for what we need right here. So we add the Gaussian blur right here, and we click OK. Then we go to the top layer, click the top layer, go to the top layer. Then you want to go to image. Then you want to go to apply image. And the thing we want to apply is this, the layer here where it says merge. We want to apply the image 
to the first layer. So we go to layer one, go to layer one, make sure we apply there, and then we go here to blending modes, then we go down and we go to subtraction. And we click OK. All of this should stay the same. You should have 100% capacity scale to 128. That should be a part of the default. And then we push OK. Now we go here and see right here, uh, we're going to click linear light. Then we're going to go right back to the second layer. And this is where we start the frequency separation. Now this is where I'm going to use my Wacom, Wacom, wherever how you pronounce it, I'm going to use my Wacom pen and do some work to it. And what we're going to do is we go to our lasso tool and we take little spots around the skin, around the face, and we outline it and then we add more Gaussian blur. So what I'm going to do is take my pen, oh come on over here push my pen down and I'm gonna start to draw and when you guys aren't watching usually I try to do the whole entire forehead go around her eyebrow go around here great got that outline next thing you know you go to filter you go back to blur now when we add this blur what you want to do is try to make it look as natural as possible and increase the blur to kind of fill in this outline spot. And what I do is I raise it up uh, 24.9. That, that's perfect for me. This is perfect. You see the difference between how smooth this is and how uh, rough this is right here. This is the look that we're going for for the entire face, 24.9. So click OK. Then we go to deselect and we try it all over again. So I'm gonna use my pen again. I'm gonna go right in the middle where I left off. I'll go around. Go around, I'm gonna go a little further. Come back up, go around her eyebrows. Oh, I went through it. That's okay, it'll be fine. Then we go here, go to filter. Go to blur, go to Gaussian blur, and there you have it. We did it again. Now I'm going to speed this up for you guys. Now I'm going to do it one more time so I can show you a faster way to do the Gaussian blur. So what we're going to do, we're going to go around her nose. Let's go around her nose, outline her nose, go in her nose, <laughs> then come around again, and go around. So you go to filter here and at the top it should have what you did the last time and the last time I did was Gaussian Blur. Just click on that and it has the same texture that you did on the other parts of her skin. And go up here and you go to deselect. Let's make sure I did that. Deselect. Okay, we're going to speed this up so you guys can see what the finished product would be. about to lower the opacity, but one thing I'm about to do, I want to, because I like the way this looks. I like the way it looks right now. Uh, it's a little bit too much. So what I do is I group these two uh, layers together, control, then I uh, left click on my mouse and group these bad boys. So I drag it down, put them in a group, 
Now, just lower the opacity just a little bit. So we won't get that fake look. We want it, to me, I want all my pictures to look real. Just a little bit touched up. I don't want that fake look. So I just lowered it down just a little bit so we can still have that realness in her face and, and on her skin. So just lower it down just a little bit. Maybe to 65. Let's go to 65. Come on, 65. I'm one of those guys. I need to get on 65. Or I can just type it in. Type it in 65. Yep, type in 65, because I'm going to get my 65. There it is, 65. That's the way I run it. Now, that is amazing. Let's do a before, before, after, before, after. Great. That is great retouching right there. That is awesome. Okay, guys. That's how I do frequency separation. It was real quick. Once you get the steps down, it becomes real easy and easy to do. So make sure you guys get out there and practice and hope you guys enjoyed this little small tutorial. Thank you.